had people, Metallica, Slayer, Anthrax, and all that came out. And like, I mean, I was into those bands like from day one, you know, I thought they were excellent. And especially Slayer, they just blew me away when I saw them in London and stuff. And uh, people were just saying, oh, it's, it's, it's noise, you know, it's not music, it's just bullshit, it's not singing, you know. But, uh, you know, we knew at the time that Napalm Death and stuff make Slayer sound like Bon Jovi, really, you know. The way the vocals sound and the way the instruments just go full tilt, you know. Um, but uh, it's just taken people a while to ca kind of catch on, you know, because thrash fans, they're always looking for something heavier, something faster, something more extreme. They always will, you know. There's just some kind of attitude that defines the bands, really. It's uh, and a vague kind of sound, but there's like, there's room for innovation and experimentation within the whole scene. And you've got bands like Godflesh who use a drum machine, and uh, you know, they have really heavy riffs. Uh, nowadays they're getting a bit more um, experimental with their sound, like using samplers and stuff. Check. I'm Justin Broderick, I'm guitar and vocals for Godflesh. I'm Paul Neville and I play guitar, in, guitar for Godflesh. And this is Cal Los Angeles. And we're about to play the Country Club, California, Los Angeles. We're probably the heaviest thing people are ever going to hear in a coherent sense. I mean, there's loads of bands that just tune down and like, bleh, bleh. but like we've actually got sound there, and it's actually unique, and it is fucking heavy. present people with a lot of harsh, vivid visuals that we can relate to of things we really like and then just present it to people in, we amalgamate all this stuff and then just shove it in people's faces and say, oh, what do you think? And we're not saying to people think this, we're saying, what do you think? So we're trying to say, we're trying to provoke a reaction. My existence is based upon like a, a sort of paranoid outlook on things, but I see like paranoia as awareness in a sort of in a similar. I mean, basically, uh, there is you no know, dividing line really. I guess I see being as being totally paranoid as being totally aware. We just like intense images, something that's like really strong. That's yeah, everything we use is intense and extreme because that's the only things we can relate to is extremities. The press in England, yeah, has been really, really favourable, and in Europe in general. The press in America is probably even more favourable, I think, in a way. I think we're getting better press in the States. We're getting better received. <laughs> Slayer comes bursting out of it. It's good, Slayer just burst in on it, it's pretty cool, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
bass player, I mean, he listens to Beach Boys religiously. I mean, he loves the Beach Boys. I mean, he collects all the CDs. He loves the Beach Boys. And if that's probably the most extreme, far away thing we could think of. Um, but then again, in a lot of the purity in their sound and stuff, the way they do things is probably very close to what we do sometimes. We played with Killdozer once. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but people are familiar with Killdozer. But we, and we played like a lot louder than Killdozer. And we played with like full, something like 8,000 watts, total full power. And uh, we know of, of one person in the audience who actually lost their hearing that night, totally. There was uh, apparently a, a couple of women who actually orgasmed through the, through the volume. I don't know, I'd like to add thanks to Arden Heavy for being on this video because, I mean, we probably don't fit into the whole genre really that well. But um, it's great to see that we are. I mean, that, that, this has crossed over instantly already. This is, this is causing something which is different. Uh, and something to add is just for, uh, it's just for people to, to start appreciating and opening their heads to something, to something unusual. You know, for, for people who, are just, who just solely listen to metal who are watching this video, I'd like them to, to listen to Godflesh and just appreciate something which is more mind-numbingly heavy. So if people want heaviness and they've got it here, I mean, there's nothing heavier. But uh, we're not saying that on a sort of, we're the heaviest band in the world, we're not going for that angle, we're just going for, we're Godflesh and this is